All right, guys, so this is the definition of a do it anyway moment. So I've seen about all the people I'm supposed to see for the day. I set a goal of 50 policies and I'm sitting at 47 right now. So I'm literally just walking in and out of buildings, um, seeing if there's anybody that I can talk to, anybody that'll, that'll, <laughs> that'll sit down with me for a minute and see if I can't sell three more policies because it's ridiculous uh, to have a policy and not hit it. And, uh, and just go home and hold your tail between your legs. So we're gonna see if we can make something happen. Do it anyway. If you carry that do it anyway mentality, it'll eliminate those opportunities for those excuses to subtly slip in. Um, and it'll ultimately help you win the day. And then after doing anyway, do it anyway, do it anyway, do it anyway, over years of hard work, that's what ultimately made me successful. But the reality is, and I think Andy Frisella was the first person that I heard really talking about this a lot, and I've adopted it ever since, this whole idea of do it anyway, is the fact that nobody cares how you feel. Nobody cares how you feel. If you said you were gonna do something, you go do it. Period, end of story. Big announcement, um, when this clock strikes 12 here in 30 minutes, I will turn 33 because my birthday is tomorrow and I plan on spending it doing exactly what I did today, which is work another 19 hours, get another workout in tomorrow night after working 17 hours straight when I feel like my head's about to explode and I need to take a nap, but doing it anyway. Um, it's when you don't feel like it. Like, I didn't feel like going to my eighth meeting today. I didn't feel like going to my ninth meeting today. I didn't feel like coming back and doing all the things I did, but I still did it because the, it is the courage to continue even when you're having success is the courage to continue even when you're amidst failure that really counts and is the true testament of what you're worth testament of what you have deep down inside of you all right guys uh, i don't know any better example that i could give you uh, than what just happened so i just looked at the video that i just recorded um, earlier and that was at 2:42 p.m uh, it's now 4:37. Uh, PM. So I walked into this random building, found a group of people that I had not met with, um, briefed uh, that group, presented to that group, and uh, as I mentioned, the goal was 50 policies. I was at 47. I wrote 12 policies on, there were like nine people there, wrote 12 life insurance policies to put me at 50. Nine. So we talk about do it anyway, but what does that really look like? Well, that's exactly what it looks like because it's been so easy to go home, so easy to pack it in, say, ah, well, I came close, you know, I'm shooting for 50, I got 47, that's close. But you do it anyway, you go find people, you go make it happen, you end up with 59, and you end up making another two grand, 1500, two grand. Boom.